Hey folks, hope you're doing good today, having a good week and all that jazz. Thanks for tuning in. Now we're going to be going a bit more old school on the channel today. And it's been a while, it's been old school since we went old school on this channel uh, and had some heavy metal vibes on the channel. And one of those reasons is we haven't seen these guys for a couple of years now. Uh, this is going to be the third time that they're on the channel. Uh, but it's been two years since they were on the channel, but it's been really cool. Actually, just lately, uh, it seems to be a lot of bands who are kind of coming back round for their second cycle on the channel. We haven't seen them for a year or two. Uh, and now they've got some new stuff on the go. Uh, and get it back on the scene. Love it. Really, really cool. Uh, these guys are out of Canada. They're, the band is called Greybeard. This is the, the it says Greybeard are back with their first single of their second full length album, Dark Age, a blistering track brimming with melody and shred. Cool. Like the sound of that one. It's a long one though today, this one, six and a half minutes. So let's see what they've got. This track is called Terra Umbra. Let's give it a spin. Oh, slappy drum. I love the sound of the snare on this drum kit and it's not actually a, a snare sound you'd expect for this kind of music. Sounds sick though. Brings so much pop and balance to the music. Makes it really groovy. Yeah. 
Du, der er en progressive. of ideas in this one. Nice outro solo, love to hear that. Sick, man. These guys have come back with something nice on this one. Very, very cool. Nice long track. Didn't feel long either to me. Filled it out nicely. Lots of different stuff going on in it. That's why. Tons to listen to. Man, I was just so absolutely in love with the drum sound on this track. Uh, and actually the way that it contrasted with the rest of the music, that, particularly the snare drum, but it was the kick and the toms and stuff as well were not the typical sound and timbre that you expect to hear with black and heavy metal, which is what the rest of the music was. Uh, and because of that, in one small way, it sounded out of place purely because it was more, I, I was trying to think what would be the best music for, for that kind of snare sound. I would say a kind of funk would be good, um, but even some some maybe kind of rappy, uh, kind of new metal-y hip-hop stuff as well would be cool with that with that kind of drum sound because it's got a pop, it's got a bounce, it's kind of got a groove to it. And I thought even though the music was blackened and heavy metal, old school, old school heavy metal-y, still had a nice groove in there because that snare just popped. It, you wanted to pop your body with the snare. And it's funny how the sound of the snare or just sounds in general make you feel certain ways uh, and it was really really cool now at the same time I say it was weird because it kind of didn't sit with the rest of the music because you don't expect that sound you know you don't expect that snare sound with blackened music it's just a, too much of a funky snare for the, that genre but because of that because it was out of the ordinary it really sounded dope as well. I couldn't get my ears off it. Um, so I was thinking about the drums a lot all the way through this track. Uh, just how dope they sounded and how how funky they were for the kind of music that we the, the, the rest of the band were playing. Really, really cool. I'd like to hear some more of that kind of stuff. Kind of funky, blackened metal? Is that even a thing? These guys are trying to make it a thing. And then when they moved into that more progressive edge and stuff as well, just brought in a whole different vibe. I felt I felt like the drum beat, the, the drum sound was more progressive as well at that stage. So it kind of fit in the music a bit more at that stage. But man, it was such a dope drum sound. I just could not get my ears off the drums. They sounded absolutely sick. And they were just so groovy as well. Really, really dope. Great track though. Really like the blackened edge. The blast beats just sounded so dope. Um, Really, really nice. And then moving into the progressive stuff as well, filled out the rest of the track. I will say some of the transitions from one section to the next within the progressive section, 
felt like they were kind of struggling to get it to go smoothly from one section to the next uh, and just kind of, you know, doing like a down, now we'll move into the next section. Uh, I always like it, you know, the best when you can smoothly transition and you don't even notice the transition from kind of blackened into progressive, but you got to do what you got to do to get the job done. Very, very nice. Very pleased to get these guys back on the channel. Uh, and hopefully we'll be hearing more of their new album as well. I'll be interested to hear that. Very, very cool. Love those drums. The next band we're going to check out are new to the channel, uh, although you'd have heard this name before. These guys are the Cowboys from Hell. Uh, now, I'm not sure how much into Pantera and all of that stuff they are. Uh, we'll have to see as, their music, as we check the band out more and check out their music. But it says here, Cowboys from Hell are from Slovenia, uh, and they proudly present the music video of our first song, Leave Me Alone. So this is their debut one. We'll get on board with this band. And it only came out uh, not too long ago. Uh, end of September, so it's pretty new. Uh, this track is called Leave Me Alone, The Cowboys From Hell. Let's give it a spin. Yeah. 
wasn't sure when we'd checked out Cowboys from Hell whether we were just going to get a kind of Pantera tribute act or something like that. But absolutely not. And what I'm going to say is, even though that this genre and style of music is old school um, and, be, you know, so many bands have done this kind of sound, this kind of energy, this kind of vibe. These guys nailed it as good as anyone I've ever heard do this kind of music. I really, really enjoyed that track. I enjoyed everything about it. The sound, the chunk, the groove, the vocal was really, really nice. The mix was great. Cool, high quality video to go with it as well. I think they absolutely nailed down everything they wanted to do with this one. And, and it didn't come across with any slice of cheese or corniness at all. And this music can easily do that because sometimes this music does become a parody of itself, you know? It kind of kind of loses its, its sight and becomes cheesy and kind of, you know, just a bit kind of corny in that way. I thought these guys sounded serious. They sounded proper. It didn't leave me feeling corny and cheesy in, in, in the slightest. It didn't bore me with what it was. Like, you've heard this music before and these kind of riffs and stuff before, but they did a great job of it, had a great energy. The track moved through all the different sections in the way that it should you just bop along with it. I really think they did an absolute great job of a genre that's kind of been perfected for decades and decades and bands have kind of pumped this stuff out a lot. And I thought these guys just sounded fresh and dope and, and proper and solid and really, really nice. Very, very cool band uh, coming out of Slovenia as well, which, you know, is not an area of the world you get tons of bands out of, high quality kind of metal bands coming out of. I think these guys could stand up with anyone out there, you know, put them up with any of the kind of old school metalers out there uh, and these guys would kick their ass with it. Definitely. Very, very impressed with that one. This music can kind of when you listen to it can really leave you just thinking yeah that's generic you know it's just because it's been done so many times the uh, the new ideas in this kind of genre might have kind of stagnated uh or there's no new ideas left but i thought these guys sounded fresh and new and you know you if you like this kind of music your ears will prick up when you hear this band because they they don't just sound like every other generic metal band out there. That's the kind of point I'm trying to get across in, in a roundabout way. Really, really impressed. So, Cowboys from Hell, I hope you enjoyed the show. I hope you watched this ch channel, enjoy the show. Uh, and please keep sending your music over. I think it's sounding really great. Nice high-quality video to go with it. Rocking out. Uh, very, very impressed. Very cool. This is a hard genre to stand out in and kind of... You know, really sound nice and fresh. And I think these bands have done it today. Sick job. Very, very cool. So, hope you've enjoyed that as well today. Give us a like if you've enjoyed the video and the bands today. Uh, it's going to be Friday tomorrow, so we won't be able to get any more bands on the show. But if you want to get your band on next week, head over to the website and make a submission. That would be dope. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you when we see you next. Have a good one. Cheers. Bye.